Yo, what's happening everybody? Uh, got another video coming up here. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. Um, we noticed some things on this past trip, as you'll see in the video. Uh, one of the guys that was fishing with me, he hooked into a big sturgeon. And it's, I always say it's really important to properly handle that fish. You know, as, I, as I'm kind of referring to when you're fighting the fish. Um, I tell people that come fishing me all the time. I try to break their spirit in the first 60 seconds, um, try to gain control of that fish. What that means is, you know, when you're fighting that fish, you're in control of where that fish goes. If that fish wants to pull to the right side of the boat, guess what? You're going to point that rod to the left, right? Um, that is a big factor in, you know, making it more efficient for you to actually land your fish and to catch your fish versus losing it. Um, but with this fish in this video, it was hot it was you know it, it fought really hard and my customer on the boat you know this is the first time fishing them you know it's it's a hard fish to catch so uh it, what ended up happening is that leader ended up you know was hooked in the mouth and because of you know just not controlling it all the way you know how i would um, I know it's not easy for everybody. It's a hard fish to catch, but it was hooked in the mouth and It kind of wrapped around the head and around the body a couple times Which caused that fish to just kind of pinwheel in the current in the tide. It was a strong tide It was one of those big huge massive king tides or whatever and um, That fish was just spinning and spinning and spinning and no matter what we did To try to get that fish to come closer and to try to net it or whatever we had to do it made it really difficult so you know as soon as you hook up on one i would say just really try to control that fish you know if he's gonna run let him run he's not you're not gonna stop it from running um so just really try to put the brakes to him you know uh again it is barbless so the more and more you 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 get the rod and you go up and down and just jerk it and play with it it's just more likely you're gonna lose that fish um but uh, it's just, yeah, one of those things that you hook up on one of these things, they're hard to catch and they, you know, some people wait a long time to catch one. So, but, but luckily we have these, these leaders I make, this is 200 pound test, you know, you can see it's, it's, it's heavy duty. And, um, and it was able to take the beating of, of the fish's scoots, the diamonds, who was wrapped around, you know. Uh, it was all frayed up on on the actual leader. Actually, I gave it to him. I let him keep it as a souvenir. That was his his, his first big fish, you know. He actually caught two that day. He caught a 32, and then the other one was 65. Um, just a beautiful fish, you know. Just huge, just massive, powerful fish. And um, yeah, you know, I know he's gonna come back and he's gonna come visit me again, and we'll do it again. Hopefully, get him a keeper. But uh, I. Like I, I can't stress enough these rods that I'm using from Okuma, these Monterey's, you know, uh, they're 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 amazing. You know, you'll see I have the rod bent completely from like the tip of the rod to pretty much the reel seat you know, up here, right, right above the handle, and it took it. It took the abuse. It handled it just fine. The Kavala, the Kavala Five, narrow, just super powerful, a reel. And you'll notice as, as uh, I took over to help this guy out, to try to get this fish in a little closer, um, I noticed that somebody had, had touched the drag on, on the reel, which happens, you know, we had, we had clients out there that that for some reason like to play with this, and I, I don't know why they, they, they do it, but it happens. And uh, it turned out to be a little too loose, you know? So I wanted to tighten it some more. So as I'm fighting the fish, I put my thumb in the spool while I'm fighting the fish. I disengage the drag, you know, and I adjusted it here, you know, um, to give it a little more power. And uh, that's one of those things that, unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't do it while you're fighting the fish, but I've been doing it so long that uh, yeah, I, can, I can get away with that. But the uh, Okoa Monterey, this is the, this is the medium. Um, again, it's a 10 to 20 pound rod, it's light. But some of you guys that are, are in that season to find these things and it may become a little more difficult to, to actually catch them so i believe it's one of these two i have here in the rack that i'm gonna got the reels getting serviced right now this is a medium as well and then uh 
this one right here this is the medium plus so this is a 12 to 25 pound rod okay it's a little just a little heavier not too much still has a pretty soft tip so i can show you here I'll do it the other way just a little heavier of a tip you know it's kind of hard to show you on camera here but um that little difference from a 10 to 20 pound rod to a 12 to 25 believe it or not is going to make a huge difference in uh your ability to pull in the fish so <clears throat> you know i prefer a much lighter rod you know just because i can see every little every little bite every you know every little detail see every little twitch in the rod and you can feel everything and a lot of times too um You'll feel the bite before you actually see it. Um, but um, as you go on and keep doing this for so long, you kind of get accustomed to it and you know what to look for. Um, like when I took Fisherman's Life out on for his sturgeon in my old boat, his fish that he caught had hit so light that only I can see it. Um, I was there and I, I remember telling him like, hey, it's up to you, you know, you can, you can swing on it. Or if I see something, do you want me to want me to swing on it for you? And uh, we came to an agreement that we had to do whatever we had to do to get that fish on, on the boat. So I happened to see it out of the corner of my eye, a little twitch in the rod. I grabbed it, set the hook, and he was hooked up. And that was his first, his first keeper, his first surgeon ever. Um, and I remember afterwards we were talking about it, and he was like, how did you even see that? I just, I don't know. It's just like I said, you know, you acquire like a, a whole different sense, like your sixth sense, whatever you want to call it. Um, you start picking up these little little details on these fish and, and this kind of fishing. So <clears throat> it was just two days ago or a day ago. Um, uh, Anthony, I'll put his his info in here. He saw his fish, and you'll see him in the background. I think it's on our our starboard side behind the boat he cruised by you know those buddies on, the, on their boat and uh and trevor my deckhand was like hey you guys slow down again don't be that guy but they actually slowed down so awesome that you know i appreciate that um that just really hurts everybody's fishing yours mines you know it scares the fish away when you're coming out you know at a boat that's hooked up or on anchor marking fish you know you go by them at full speed doesn't do anything you know um also anchoring up in front or behind you you know that can hurt either one of the parties you know uh, i had a boat anchored up right behind me and um when the tide turned his lines are pretty much hidden you know, they were pretty close to my anchor and the rope and chain and all that good stuff so if he were to hook up and that fish runs it's going to go straight into your anchor or into my anchor and uh it'll break you off so you'll lose your fish there's plenty of fish out there, so just just pick a line, you know, like, I don't mind you guys getting close to me or, or you know, whatever. But um, just really think about it, you know, because when those tides turn and all of a sudden your bait and your, your lines are closer to my anchor than you thought, you know, you're going to lose that fish. So, but, um, but he, yeah, he did come up and he picked up some of these. He got to witness us watch, or he got to witness us catch like three fish and, um, I think now he's a he's a new believer of the leaders. So these 200 pound leaders are tough. Um, all the leaders I, I tie are are, are going to handle what you're going to do. But me personally, for for the customers in the boat, I'm going heavy just in case that situation happens where they wrap on the line or whatnot. Um, again, one of those other things that people have asked me, you know, can you make them shorter? Yeah, I can make them shorter. You know, I know everybody has their own own method. They're the guys in the Delta do the whole reel down thing. That's cool, but again, what are you gonna do when that fish likes to roll, you know, in the current on that line? Those diamonds touch your, your main line, your braid. I don't care if it's 50, 65, 80, 100 pound. Those things are sharp and they will cut right through. So um, I like to have a little bit more of a length on them. As you can see these, you know, I cut them down a little bit from what I'm, I usually make. Uh, just for the reason that not everybody can properly maneuver the, these fish up to the boats, I can net them. So it's a little longer. I don't know. I don't really use 
any tape measure or anything, but maybe 28 inches or so, or whatnot. Um, but uh, that definitely is a huge help, you know? And there is uh, there's different styles of hooks that I use. Uh, one of the main ones, which I'm pulling down right now, that I'm using too, which allows you to pack on a lot of bait on there and still have plenty of hook to, that's plenty of hook left so you can get into that fish. All these Marudos. These are these right here, are the, the grabber hooks. These are, are semi barbless. They're barbless, but I, um, I'm just not sure you know, the name, but you look at it. This is a pretty thick gauge hook. They are sharp as hell. So please be careful, you know. Um, the owner of Angler Innovations, he knows. I've been hooked by some of his treble hooks, these Maruda hooks, and they are not fun, okay? I actually have that thing somewhere around here. I'll look for it. But um, these are good hooks right here. These are, these are nine odd, you know. Every hook, every hook company is, is different, you know. The sizing is different. Um, but these right here are, are really good. You know, you can put, you know, two, three ocean at a time or your big old row ball or whatever. Um, but just make sure you have some quality hooks because I've seen some hooks that are out there that just bend out and whatnot and that sucks, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, especially after all these storms that we've been having, guys, uh, the fishing should be really good. Uh, all that fresh water has been been running out of creeks and you know everywhere that's just dumping out into our, our water our, our sturgeon fishing grounds that's gonna make it really good um, it's gonna kick up all that mud all the whatever you know they're feeding on exposing things exposing worms shrimp whatever um, should be really good so as soon as this, this weather clears I'll be back out there if you guys want to come out and and join us you're you know i'll put the info down below uh it's gonna be really good so just um just keep that in mind you know once this this weather passes us up i'll be out there a lot and then um yeah so hopefully that kind of helps you guys out a little bit but you definitely want to check out these rods from okuma the okuma monterey the, the medium the medium plus there is a medium heavy too um you know i would say the medium heavy i'd probably put on a balance beam because you're going to see that way easier and that rod just kind of dips versus waiting for that bite. Um, either three of these rods will work really well. Like I said, again, make sure you got some, just make sure you got a good quality reel. These Kavala's right here, they're, they're mean little, little reels. They've uh, endured a lot and they're two speed, okay? Uh, if you ever get in a situation where you need to you know, drop it in low gear, they are, they are amazing, so. Um, I'll put the links for that down below too, but, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and, um, we'll be back soon with some more, some more content for you. And, uh, if you guys have any questions, anything related to, to the gear, to the, the tackle, um, sturgeon, go ahead and drop it in the comments and, uh, we'll do another video and just kind of go over your guys' general questions, you know? So until next time, guys, I'll see you in the water. And uh, you just keep them rods bent. Don't forget, we got the merch. So I did a, a pre-order run of the hoodies. Whoever got them, you know, hey, thank you. You're going to love them. And uh, I should be doing another uh, another run of them soon. So if you're interested, just uh, hit me up and let me know. We'll get them in. We have all the different logos, the halibut logo, uh, the striper logo, the deadliest cast bear, which everybody seems to love. And then, of course, one of my favorites, as you guys know, I'm a huge Chop Gun fan. And uh, this is the Deadliest Cast edition. So, all right, guys. See you guys in the water. Stay safe. Uh, keep dry from these rains. And then, um, yeah, let's get some fish. See you later. Here, watch your line. Here, yeah, over. yeah, over. Damn it, happened. Yeah. Ready? I got tap. I got one of the tap, and then oh, oh. Yeah, so like that. that one looks like a little bit better. Yeah. Try to get him on the other side.
Don't keep it. Uh-huh. Come on, give me some jumps. Give me some jumps. He's swimming out, bro. Pero él quiere correr, no le dé vueltas. Si él corre, él lo corre. Pero no está corriendo. No, no, no. Si brinca, lo tiene que ir. Está en el rato, está en el río, ¿ok? Que no le dé slack. Bueno, el corro no le dé vueltas, ¿ok? Ahora sí. Si el corro deje de darle de vuelta, no lo va a parar. Si es que pare, ahora sí. ¿Okay? Puede subir con suave, bájalo y le dé vuelta. Ah. Pero no mucho, sí. Eso, con, sirve con la presión. Pegándolo. No, no, no le dejes para, para, para abajo y le da vuelta rápido. Ok, pare un poco. Súbelo. Dele, dele, dele. Dele, dele. No le vuelve, está corriendo. ¿Qué? No, no le vuelve hasta que el pare, porque ahora sí. ¿Ves que le ayude un poco? Sí, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying 54. Just let him get some wind. Steve's working for the FU button on me. I got him, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. Come on, you. Steve feels it. Nah, I got you. I got you. I should be good. He's bubbling. Yeah, he's like on top. Mm -hmm. Tired. Get bubbles. Yeah. Take care. Get on the net. Are you taking me out of? No, I thought that you didn't come on the net. Just hold the net for me. Get him close to the finish. Everyone move. 
Tell me what you want. Oh. Watch it move back corner. Yeah. Whoa. It's the Akuma Monterey. Mm -hmm. Putting in that work right there. It's probably giving them life too. Nah. <laughs> you know that fresh oxygen. No, they don't give a shit. Thank you! It had to be told. Yeah. He was not gonna stop, but then he finally saw me. I think he might be wrapped. He might be. Yeah. Those are some salves. I didn't do it that way. You never gain with that. Yeah. You never gain with that. Yeah. With, that, yeah. with that rod. Oh, I know. Probably the rod on. There's a lot of current, too. Strong time kind of out. Yeah, it's, he's definitely under. Is that under? Yeah, that's why. That's why he's pinwheeling. Probably the weight's taking him too. Man. There's gonna have to be a quick net job. Yeah. There you go. You wanna net him from back there? Probably a good idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, there I go. I still got probably another five minutes. Close. I might have to have someone get the net and net them because I don't know if I'm going to be able to let go. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Got it? Maybe squeeze in, right? Yeah, yeah, on your left, right? Here, I got you. Which side? 
On your left or right? Can we go one more time? Maybe two more times? He's over. He's done. To right. That's it. I can't see it. So. You can bring him on this side. I can get him. All right. Next turn. I think we're gonna get next one, next one, next one. Where to? Go ahead first. We're gonna try going straight for his head. Pick up the whole body right. in the basket. Yeah. Got leader. What's the tip? I got leader. Okay. Here, someone hold this. Right. We got him. We got him. Go ahead first. Put him in. Put him in. Put him in. Watch the pull. Whoa! That's hard. Yeah. Huh? 59? I don't know, we'll see. Alright, go some of them guys. Shoot some of them. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll got you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Get him out of the net real quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. This will make you find more than yours yeah, yesterday. Let me yeah. some of that. You did that, bro. That was straight up tag teams, like every inch I pulled. Yeah, he was just reeling in. <laughs> what? Found that taper. <laughs> oh my god. 60. It's, it's gonna be like 64. 64? Yeah. Too big? Yep. Auto. So is it to like the cut in the fork? The fork. Yeah. Okay. Fork in the chain. Yeah, it's 60 right to here. Okay. Yeah. That's why you want to use good leaders. Oh. Oh. Want to get a good picture? Yeah. Yeah, good picture. No, no, no. You need a. You want a jacket to throw over you so you don't get slimed. I don't care. You good? You want to sit yeah. down and hold it? Oh, huh? You want to sit down and hold it? Yeah, please. There you go. Woo. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. Try to pull tail out a little bit. Smile. So, uh, Okay, I gotta put him back. You, you send it to me? Yeah, Okay. Nice. Really? Hello. Okay. Woo! Okay. Una fotico de soltándolo. Go, go this way, so it's yeah, head yeah, first. Yeah, video. Oh, okay. Woo! Stay aquí. Right here. Chair. You guys gotta clear this. Oh my god. Watch your butt. Beautiful. Oh. Ah, <laughs> cabrón. Oh my god, man. Shit. She's a hunter, she's a hunter. Stay right there. Stay in the corner, okay? I'm going back inside to point the rod to the left, though. She's on fire. Easy, don't jerk it like that, dude. You have to eat some more, more spinach soon. Come on, Popeye. I gotta make sure we edit out the cowboy's hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we get those stickers real quick? <laughs> stickers. Let's back? get a deadliest cast sticker and put it on the back. He's stripping line, man. Thank you, Nigeria. Right. Well, we play it again. <laughs> Every time that song starts. So today's fish have oh been, been brought to you by man. Mac Dre. And Akuma Rods. <laughs> yeah, take time, buddy. Got them turned. It looks like. Yeah, he's just coming right at us. You want to catch fish? Uh, I, think, I think you're under. You're under. You're under. I'm under huh? He's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fish is over that line. Yeah. He's good. You want to catch fish? Book a trip. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh my god. You gotta deal with this guy and fight the fish. <laughs> oh lord. You gotta love Steve, man.
You're getting them, man. You're getting them. You're seeing bubbles over there. Nicely done. Nicely done. Where's his phone at? Here's a picture right here. Oh, okay. We got the go, bro. Bubbling. Me real quick. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ty's getting slapped too. Yeah, it's much easier. Easy, bro. There you go. Now you got a ghost rider, the pattern is full. He's close, he's about 10 feet off the leader. Nice and easy, nice and easy. You saw that shit, dude. That was a keeper right there. You gotta get into me, okay? Good pushes. He's not ready. Put the rod out. Ready, Steve? He's coming up. So as you can get him on the leader, walk back. Hit first. Here, reel down more. Reel down more. Is that ready? Almost, okay? Lift up slowly and reel down. Lift up a little bit. Wait till you. I like that guy sitting on his belt with binoculars. Don't, don't drop it down that much, okay? Bubbles. Bubble guppy now. Bub, 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 bubble guppies. That was a tail flap. I was like, no. Man, I have a stupid bubble guppy song in my head, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, welcome back. There's two. Black, 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 black. Oh. I got it. This is low, bro. Don't grab the ring. Got the rock. I got the net. Woo! No. That's exactly the same as the other one. Let's go. Yeah. So we got another 64. Thank you so much for the fight. <laughs> Me? I'll take pictures of myself first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right there. Got him. I don't. I got a photo bomb right here. Oh, let's sleep. Smile, buddy. Alright, go put you on him, bro. You know Deadly is cast. Get the Jurassic Park monster, bro. Uh, let's let her go. Nice 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 and slow. Get her out of there. <laughs> oh, my arm's <laughs> Yes, sir. Keep it bent, baby. Uh, you See ya. Woo. Almost knocked my glasses off. Yeah.